Hello guys and welcome to another HRL race. This one's going to be a Magna Tempest, track forged by Armada 223. Our starting lineup is Blades first, Armada second, Luke third. And then in the next row we're going to have Apathy, Slaunch, and Detail. And in the back row we'll have Decoy and Takeover. And Mythic was going to be racing this race. You guys might remember Mythic. Uh, you might remember him as Dark Shadows. He was unfortunately gone. You see him in the pits there. Anyways, we're green. Slaunch has a really bad start. Blades is off to a solid start. He had a really good qualifying time for pole. He beat the next two fastest qualifiers because Luke and Armada actually had the same exact time. Um, our, our, uh, Slaunch and Apathy also had the same exact time. Um, and Blades had a time 0.7 seconds faster than Armada and Luke, so he had a very fast pole time. See, uh, it's starting to single out a little bit here. Blades and Armada getting pretty tight into the last corner, but Armada's going to be forced wide, and he's going to lose a little bit of ground. So far, the order seems to be Blades, Armada, Luke, Detail. I can't really tell who else from behind them. Oh, Armada's making a move on the inside of Blades. Oh, Blades forces him high again. I don't think, I don't think Armada's going to be able to complete that move. Nah, he can't really hit that curb there. That one's a dangerous one, so not much he can do. Now Luke's gained a lot on Armada now. Gonna lose a little bit there, and they're gonna try to work on our blades again. Here we go a little bit further in the back of the pack, watching Apathy this is, actually. Apathy's a little bit further behind than I thought he was. He's behind Decoy right now. I think Takeover is in the way back of the pack. He had a pretty slow qualifying time. He's having a rough time at this track. Here we're going to go through a little flyby the whole pack. There's Slaunch. Slaunch who's settled into fifth right now. Well, Luke and Armada battling for second. Super tight battle right there. Oh, Mythic. It looks like Mythic was back. and He's not going to be able to do anything, though. And here we go. Three-way battle for second. Luke, Detail, and Armada. And Detail gets into the rock. Oh, Slaunch. I believe that was Decoy as well. Gets involved. Yeah, Decoy gets flipped. Oh, and then Takeover hits him, which is going to make that even worse. Horrible, horrible circumstance there for Decoy and Takeover. I mean, heck, that might be the race for them. They, they might not be able to recover from that. Because this track is very... This track's not very technical, but since there's no cautions in HRL anymore, um, if you wreck on this track or get involved in a wreck, it's, I mean, man, it's going to be hard to recover because this isn't that technical of a track, and it's it's hard to gain that much time. It's not it's not too difficult, though, because, oh, here we go, Luke making a move on Armada for second. He's going to go to the inside. Oh, no, he pops the two-wheel into the outside wall. Detail goes by. Slaunch is going to be there too, but can he make a move? Championship battle right here. This is a very important battle. It looks like Luke's going to hold on to fourth. Yeah, it looks like he's going to hold on to fourth for now. Gets a pretty decent gap on Slaunch, and that's Apathy, old, uh, by the way, in fifth. Um, so there you have your third, fourth, and fifth place drivers. Or excuse me, uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth place drivers. Um, Armada and Detail are currently in second and third. And here you have Blades in the lead. You can get an idea of his gap. He's got a very big gap. And Armada in second. Oh no, what happens to Armada? He stops. Detail pops a huge two-wheel. He almost wrecks. They're just barely avoiding Armada. Armada. Armada's controller dies in the middle of the race with only about five minutes plus the two laps to go. Above halfway through and Armada's controller dies and he's, he's, he, he was well into his second place finish. Very, very horrible, horrible luck for Armada. He's he had a very good start to the season, but this second half, it's just been bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, and that's that's just like icing on the cake there. For his bad luck, it's just going horribly for him. And here's Blades, late season comer, and took his first win. First person to not be Slauncher Luke to win, and he took his first win in recognition. Another Armada forged track, hint, hint. If that means anything um but you can see he's he's got a very solid lead here with only about three minutes plus the two laps to go so it's gonna be very hard for anybody to catch and take on blades with the lead that he has 
Here we have an update on the battle between Slaunch, Luke, and Detail. This is now the podium position battle, actually. Second, third, and fourth place battle. It was third, fourth, and fifth, but Armada's controller dying just sort of shook that up. Oh, it's getting very tight here. Luke's got a run on Detail, and he's been trying to pass him for the past couple laps. He's been very fast on him, but Detail's just holding him up, and Slaunch is going to try to make a move here as Luke gets forced to the outside. It's going to be close between them now. Luke comes back to protect that position. And Detail's going to go wide, which is going to make it possible for a three wide in this corner. Just barely. Slaunch makes the move. Luke gets stuck in the curb. And that's going to give Slaunch the position. But this battle is not over. Luke recovers very well from hitting the curb. He's already back on Slaunch's bumper. And you see Apathy there lurking behind, so they got to be careful. Oh, Luke's got a big run here, but he's on the outside. He's not going to be able to do much with that unless he pulls a crossover. And he does. Slaunch goes wide. Luke hits the crossover on him. He's going to hit this curb, and then Slaunch is going to hit this next curb, and that, that second one's a little bit harder of a hit than, or at least for me, I think it is. And Luke's going to have the inside positioning, and he's going to take the position. Luke, after losing the position for like half a lap, he's able to already take it back on Slaunch, which is huge for their championship battle. Huge. Um, very, very huge battle there between those drivers for that podium position. And you see, they're still battling. Oh, here we go. It's going to be uh, two laps to go this time by, and we have lapped dr traffic coming up uh, with TakeOver. And this is going to mix things up a little bit. We're going to watch things from Apathy's perspective as he gets the best view of all of it. You see that having to avoid the lap driver is going to short sh shove everybody a little bit wide. Oh, we got battles. Contact all over the place up there for the third place position. Oh, Slunch gets a two-wheel. And Apathy's going to gain a lot on him. And Luke's got a huge gap now. I think that's going to be it for that third place position battle. Unless Slunch can really gain a lot and get back up there. And here we go to Blades. He hits the white flag this time by. And you see he's taking his corners wide. He's taking a very safe line. Because he knows, he knows that he's got a huge lead and, you know, he doesn't really need to take any risks by going as far inside as he usually does. He doesn't want to try to hit a curb that he normally doesn't accidentally and, you know, just ruin his race in, like, a stupid way. He's a veteran driver of the HRL and just Halo Racing in general. He knows that with this big of a lead, he doesn't really need to risk any of that. He knows he can kind of lollygag and the rest of the pack shouldn't be able to catch up to him and that's what he's going to do just to make sure that he secures this win which would be his second win of the season. Mixing it up a little bit here. And yes, look at that gap. He's going to do it. Stained Blades. It's going to come across the line in first. Right here. And Detail second. Luke holds on to the position for third. Slaunch fourth. Apathy fifth. And then there we have Decoy. You see Decoy, man, he gained a lot. For that wreck he had, but you know, just not enough. He gets sixth, and the rest of the positions um, you can see on screen. Very solid race, and there's Blades the winner. And I'll see you guys for next race, Chili Valley.